Hey everybody and welcome back. Welcome back to Valentine's Week. My name is Sue and I am from OML Embroidery and today we are going to make a really cute Valentine's Day patch because why not? It's Valentine's Day. I think it would be cute to patch up jeans or patch up a shirt or even patch up a jacket. Why not? So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is bring in an image template that I created in another software just so I can make a really pretty heart. So control I or image import is what we want to do. And I don't remember where I put it. No, I do. Downloads right there. So I just called it heart. Easy to f easy to find. Now this is kind of big, I think. Did it fit it into my hoop? Let's check. Yep. Now it's not very clear or anything. Um, we want to make this smaller though because it did not fit in. So let's go to image. Let's go to um, edit image window and go here to size. Yeah, it is. Okay, so we're good to go on that. I always check. I thought it was, but I wasn't sure. So let's do the outside of it. So we're going to go here to open shape, close shape, open shape, just single shape and click and click and then bend up your lines. This is one of the reasons I like Embird because you can be very precise with your lines and you get into a good rhythm. I know some people just put, put the um, points down and then move the bends to match. I want that right in the middle, right in the middle. Um, so depending on your workflow, how you want to do it, it's all right. There we go. So beautiful so far. I just wanted to make sure that I had a nice symmetrical heart. And then we are just about done there. I think that looks good. I might want this up a little bit to fit in nicely, but you can be as picky as you want. So finish object and there we go. So let's get rid of our image so we can see what we're doing. Oh, it didn't finish it. Oh, wow. Let's go back into points and uh, activate that one, which it is, and just go there. So my bad. Sorry. I thought it would finish. Perfect. Let's generate that out. So that is our design here. Now it's not perfectly symmetrical on that one and it didn't close. It's not a closed shape. So there's a few tricks that we can do to make something perfectly symmetrical. And you know what? Hearts are really hard to do. I was hoping that having, you know, a nice pattern would work better. It's it's not bad. I'm just kind of picky about it. Maybe if we just gently move stuff around, we'd get smoother results. We could also try deleting this one and that is not going to work because we can't make the curve well enough. So no, nope, that's not going to work either. So uh, let's go back to what we had and uh, we'll call that good enough. All right few things we can do. So that is going to be our patch. I'm actually going to make it a little bit smaller. We do want it to fit inside our hoop. Line it up there. You can center it if you want. I'm just in the habit of doing it this way. So that's our heart. That is our shape that we are going to do. Now I want to do this in applique style. There's a ton of ways to make patches whatever suits you is fine. So let's do this one applique style. So we're going to make that red and we are going to hoop some water soluble stabilizer and we are going to hoop it. And then this is our placement line to tell us where to put our pretty fabric. So now we want to copy and paste, copy and paste and we want to change the color right away so we don't forget. And this is going to stitch the fabric down when it's done stitching. Then you take it out 
and you trim the fabric as close as you can to the cut line. So then we're going to do the same thing, but we can just paste now because we have it. And then this is going to be, let's see, pick an orange, a weird color. Um, this is going to be our zigzag stitch. So we want to have that selected and right click to parameters and bring that in there so you can see it as well. Um, there's a few ways you can do it. I don't think we want anything like this, but you could, you could do, you know, an old fashioned blanket stitch around it if you're very precise in cutting. So that's one option that works fine. Um, we can do, I mean, you can mark it as applique and do it all, you know, fine like that. I didn't start off that way. I'm just doing it manually. We can do satin stitches and we'll just put it on there, but we want to change the density because we only want zigzag stitches. So wrong way. <laughs> if you do that, it's okay. Wrong way. There we go. A little bit more. I just tell by looking at it. There's no magic number. It depends on the design. So zigzag stitches, it could go a little bit more if you wanted. That is going to hold everything down. So yay, apply, generate stitches. And we are going to do one more paste. And we are going to right click on that. And we're going to go to parameters again. And we are going to go to parameters and bring it in again. And we are going to finish it off. Now, you can do a border. Um, Enbird borders are one of my favorite things to use. And you can use them for patches. And look at that. I mean, you don't have to cut it out because it's already done. My favorite is probably the rope. The two color rope, I think that's the best thing, the best thing. And you can do that. That's going to cover up everything really nicely. So pink outlines, perhaps, I think. So let's try that. Um, generate stitches. If you didn't want to use this at all, you could, you know, just do the regular satin stitches. Just make sure it covers everything up. And then you can put a little message on the inside. So we can put, um, how about be mine? And maybe we'll do a smiley face or a little heart. We'll take, we'll paste one more time and do a little heart. There we go. Let's make it a little bit bigger. You can put anything you want, any kind of special, you know, message, anything. You could make the letters even more fantastic, swirling them. We could change the angle of it. You could do it up and down. You could do anything that you wanted for this. I do not want this orange. I do want it in red. I might change it around a little bit. I'm not 100% sure how I want it yet, but that is basically how you do a patch. Just make sure that the cutting that you do is perfectly around, perfectly around, so you don't have any issues. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope you guys like this patch video. I hope you guys come up with something really pretty for patches for Valentine's Day. Thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.